let's now look at a question involving multiple number of people let's look at this question we have 10 men or 20 women or 30 boys can complete a piece of work in 30 days please note this is or which effectively tells us that 10 men is equivalent to 20 women which is equivalent to 30 boys so let's go through it again 10 men or 20 women or 30 boys can complete a piece of work in 30 days the question is in how many days will 6 men and 10 women and 10 boys complete the same piece of work so let's look at our first method that we can use to solve this question what we would do is if 10 men can complete it in 30 days 6 men can complete it in how many days so if we look at 6 men since the number of men becomes 3 fifth of the original the time taken should become 5 by 3 of the original this is again based on our inverse relationship so if I find out 5 by 3 of 30 it would mean 50 days needed for 6 men what will happen for 10 women if 20 women take 30 days 10 women half the number of women will take double the number of days which would mean 60 days let's see what happens with 10 boys 30 boys can complete it in 30 days one third the number of boys will take three times the number of days which means 90 days so what we found is that six men will take 50 days 10 women will take 60 days and 10 boys will take 90 days now if all of them are working together in how many days will the work be completed if we go back to our reciprocal method it would be 1 upon 50 plus 1 upon 60 plus 1 upon 90 if we take the LCM it would be 900 and here we would get 18 plus 15 plus 10 which would make it 43 upon 900 this would be the work done by all these people put together on any one day and hence the number of days required for all these people together to complete the job would be 900 upon 43 days this is where we've again used our reciprocal method we found the time required for six men to complete the job 10 women to complete the job 10 boys to complete the job and then we found out one day's work and then the number of days to complete the job another way we can solve this problem is by using a concept of man days now what do we really mean by this concept of man days man days would basically refer to the quantum of work to be done so if we say 10 men can complete a piece of work in 5 days then 10 multiplied by 5 which would be 50 man days would be the total work to be done so let's see how we can solve the same question using the concept of man days we already know that 10 men can complete a piece of work in 30 days 20 women can also complete the piece of work in 30 days and 30 boys can complete the piece of work in 30 days this would mean that 10 men is equal to 20 women which is equal to 30 boys and hence one man is equal to 2 women which is equal to 3 boys we are going to use this relationship to find out the answer to the question asked question is 6 men plus 10 women plus 10 boys now using this relationship we can convert this question into completely in terms of boys so how do we do that one man is equal to three boys which would mean six men is equal to 18 boys two women is equal to three boys which would mean 10 women if two women is three boys 10 women will be equal to 15 boys and in addition to this we have 10 boys so actually if we look at who is doing the work eventually it is 18 boys plus 15 boys 33 boys plus 
10 boys which will mean 43 boys to do the work when 30 boys do the work it takes them 30 days which means the total quantity of work to be done is 30 multiplied by 30 if you use the term man days now we can call this as boy days but finally what it means is the total quantity of work to be done now this is the total work to be done and it is going to be done by 43 boys so if we divide this by 43 it would give us 900 upon 43 days needed to do the job so this is another way of approaching the same problem we are using the concept of man days we are converting the question asked in terms of one single parameter which is number of boys and then using the concept of man days we straight away find the number of days which in this case works out to 900 by 43 we have just studied the concept of man days now let's see how we can extend this concept of man days to some output let's look at a question 20 men working 8 hours a day for 13 days produce 100 toys so when we look at 20 men working 8 hours a day for 13 days this product would actually give us the total work being done which is nothing but the concept of man days output is 100 toys which are being produced so 20 men working 8 hours a day for 13 days can produce 100 toys in how many days this is the question mark in how many days can the same men produce 150 toys if they work only 6 hours a day so if you want to answer this question the concept that we are going to use is effort varies directly as the output effort is in terms of the work done so more work being done leads to more output less work being done leads to lesser output and hence effort varies directly as the output so if we look at the effort in the first case it is 20 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 13 which gives us an output of 100 and now if the second effort is 20 multiplied by 6 multiplied by the unknown D days and the final output is 150 then since effort varies as output we say the ratio of the effort is equal to ratio of the output and now if we solve this we will get the value of D so we can straight away cancel off 20 this becomes 2 by 3 and this would become 2 and hence the number of days would be sorry the number of days would be 8 into 13 divided by 4 which would give us 26 days so this is how we can extend the concept of man days which is work being done to the output which is whatever is being produced to solve the problem of the, of the construction of the wall we are going to use our units method of solving a problem of work it was mentioned that if I work on consecutive days then the entire wall so time for constructing entire wall was given as 15 days and it was also mentioned that if the people who are breaking down the wall had started with a full wall then time for let's call it demolition entire wall is 20 days for those people we will take LCM of 15 and 20 and say that suppose the work to be done is 60 units so which means that when I am constructing the wall I will construct 4 units per day and people who are demolishing the wall will demolish 3 units per day so on the first day I will construct 4 units out of which on the second day 3 units will be demolished and hence in 2 days net work that will be done will be 1 unit 
and beyond this I now need to find out so to construct this wall of 60 units how many days would be required and whenever we pose this question in a class the most common answer would be that one unit in two days so 60 units in 120 days which is incorrect and it is incorrect because there was a piece of information mentioned which was demolition will continue only till the wall is completely constructed so if on the last day only four units are done let's assume there is a particular day when four units will be constructed and that will mean that the wall is completely constructed then this demolition will not happen and hence we shouldn't look at one unit in two days and hence 60 units in how many days we should look at a prior day which means 56 units in how many days why because after 56 units have been constructed and demolished in those two days together then in the next day the construction will be complete so 56 such units will take 112 days so which means that at the end of the 112th day and on the 112th day three units will be demolished so by the end of 112 days 56 units would be constructed four units left which I will construct on the next day because I can do that work in one day and hence in 113 days the entire wall would be constructed please be careful of this most common mistake as I have pointed out straight away taking a multiple of this one unit in two days because this is a very very common error made and after going through the entire problem in the correct manner making a mistake at the last stage can actually get us a lot of negative marks so we need to watch out so this is how we would use our concepts of work and specifically the units method of solving a work related problem to answer this question